Welcome back for another episode. We're out here on Long Island at Carl Hart Cycles, uh, callhart.com, and I'm here with Fred Feller, bike master guru sensei. Good morning. <laughs> How's it going? And uh, what we're going to be talking about in, in this episode is uh, proper bike fit. Very important. So you've done maybe one or two tries, and you've done it on maybe your wife's Huffy, or you stole your kid's bike, and you did it on that, and now you can step up. And uh, we're going to talk, today we're going to talk about um, a proper fit on a road bike. Not tri-specific, but a road bike. And the point that, uh, Fred, you know, you brought up, and it's very true, that a majority of us, we're, we're not stepping up to the tri-specific bike yet. We're going to start off on a road bike. Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, hitting the important points of fit. Uh, on a road bike would be uh, the, the great way to start. So Fred, take it away. What are we looking for first? Thank I'm you. coming to you. Well, we're looking to buy a good bike. And obviously if you're in a bike store, whether it's Carl Hart Bikes or any other good bike store on Long Island or New York City, wherever you're receiving this podcast from, we want you in a good bike store. And good bike stores are gonna size you up properly. Right. They're gonna look at you, they're gonna, you, they're gonna have a small, uh, short discussion with you, find out exactly what you're doing. You're doing one try a year, you're doing five a year. You're doing only duathlons. We wanna get a feeling about the type of rider you're gonna become, or at least hope to become, if everything falls into place the right way. We're not gonna discuss dollars and cents today. We're not gonna discuss whether you should buy a $600 bike or a $6,000 bike. Fit. All we're looking to do is get you to be fitted on, an, on a nice bicycle. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at your overall height to kind of sort of, right, stand straight. Your mama said that, stand straight. <laughs> stand up straight. You're gonna look at your overall height to kind of sort of decide whether you're gonna be a 48 or as high as a 63 centimeter frame. So this is what they call a fit stick. A uh, fit stick basically is something that's gonna measure the inseam uh, of your crotch. And the way it's done, and I'll use Pat as my yeah. here. Be gentle. We're just gonna, we'll try. We're just gonna place it right there. We're gonna lift this up until he screams. We're gonna figure out what size his leg length is. I usually convert it to inches, even though this is metric, but it's gonna come out to the same thing. Then we're gonna start to think about the bike that's gonna give him anywhere from a half to an inch clearance coming over the bar. And that, generally speaking, is going to give us the size of the bike that's going to fit Pat or any one of you folks out in the audience. After we find that, we're going to put Pat on the bike, or we're going to put you on a bike. We're going to get the seat height adjusted. And we're going to do this in a moment with, with, with somebody who's going to come out of the back room. We're going to get the seat height adjusted. We have to get proper leg length. And the proper leg length is, in a quick thought, it's gonna be your leg fully extended and the natural relaxation of the knee is the proper leg length. The next thing we're gonna deal with is the distance from seat to handlebar, which for every rider is different and is probably the most critical part of measuring up a bike for a consumer. The nice thing about the bike is that the bike has that adjustability. There's adjustability within the seat post because the seat slides back and forth there's adjustability in the post itself. This is what they call a setback seat post, and I don't know if you can zoom in on that, but the post is actually set back off of the shaft. They now make seat posts where the seat is attached directly on top of the shaft, which would obviously make it closer from here to here. We also have adjustability on stems. Stems typically would range from six millimeter in length to as much as 140. And once we have that adjusted, we have this done, we have this done, three more critical issues. Width of the handlebar. Everybody is different across the top. Handlebars come with to fit the smallest petite females to a big burly guy. Uh, generally ranging anywhere from uh, what, what we call a 36 center to center measurement to as much as a 46 center to center measurement. We get that done. The tilt of the seat, extremely important. And a lot of the people out there that are, are looking at a basic bike like this, tilt of the seat is normally going to be level to the ground. Okay. So we've discussed the height of the bike, your leg length. We've discussed the, di the difference or the difference of fitting each individual rider from seat to handlebar, depending on the torso length. We've discussed the width of the handlebar. The next thing we would have to discuss would be shoes. And we're gonna have a shoe segment down the road, but you can't just get a pair of shoes and just slap into the pedal. There's a placement where your foot, the bottom of your foot, has to be on the pedal. There's a placement where your knee has to fall 
in line with the pedal. Now there's a whole bunch of different rules of thumb. Dan Enfield, who, who runs a school out on the West Coast, he kind of sort of tells you the bottom line is, it's comfort. I could put you in this terribly aero position, and if you're not comfortable, you might not go that much faster because you're gonna be fighting, you're gonna be fighting your body, and you don't wanna fight your body. That's the basics of the bike fit.